Hi, Taylor T. Carlson here, and you know that I'm a big music fan, so naturally, I like watching a lot of music documentaries when I can get my hands on them. One of the most popular bands of the 80s for one major hit song, Take On Me, was AHA. We now have AHA the Movie, which is a documentary on the group covering their history over the past four decades or so. So we'll do a quick unboxing of this. I'll show you some opinions about the movie and let you know what you can expect here. Nice cover art with the members of the band and some stylized art at the bottom. There's our spine text. On the back, you've got you know, a description of the film, a list of bonus features, credits, legalese, and all that. Inside, we have our disc. Disappointingly, it's just a plain case. I'm a little puzzled as to why they used a clear case and then just put plain white paper on the back. I wish they'd done anything else there, even maybe just throwing in an insert or something. That is a little plain and boring looking, which is a shame because this is a band that was anything but. AHA formed in Norway in the early 1980s. The group drew a lot of influence from various musical genres, everyone from The Doors and Uriah Heep to some of the early synth pop pioneers. And these guys took their influences and put them to use with a pretty widely varied career. Internationally, the group is known for the song Take On Me, which is a hit that's been referenced every which way by people in various genres. The group also recorded the song The Living Daylights for the James Bond movie of the same name not too long after their biggest hit came out. But what a lot of people don't know is the band has persevered over time. Well, there's certainly been hiatuses and breakups. They've gotten back together, and over the years, they've put out no fewer than 10 albums and they still maintain an international following with all kinds of audiences of all ages, ethnicities, nationalities, the list goes on. I have to confess, I really don't know that much about AHA, but the fact of the matter is, this is a group that I really wanted to learn more about. While this is largely a no-frills documentary, it's pretty straightforward juggling between the band's history as well as footage of them at more recent shows and appearances. You do learn quite a bit about the members, their history, and what got them to the point they were at, not to mention why they managed to persevere, despite largely being written off as a one-hit wonder, which, given how much music they've put out of high quality, is pretty disparaging. I was very impressed with what I learned here about the group, and the documentary runs right about 110 minutes, so just under two hours. There's a lot of new interview footage, a lot of archival footage, and if this is a group that you've ever wanted to explore and learn more about, perhaps you want to delve deeper than that one big hit single, this documentary is a great way to do that, and I can definitely recommend it on that basis. Picture quality on this Blu-ray disc is actually pretty solid. The newer film segments and the concerts from more recent times, as well as the newly filmed interviews, those all look very nice. Understandably, a documentary like this consists of a lot of archival footage. The archival footage is in various shape depending on what you're looking at, the quality of the source, the nature of what it is, and so forth. But overall, I think just about everything here looks pretty good. It's all watchable. Even the rougher looking archival footage isn't half bad. As far as bonus features, we get three deleted scenes that didn't make it into the final movie. Those add up to about eight minutes total, so it's not a ton of content, but you at least get a little something extra, and I do appreciate that. Unfortunately, there's no other bonus features. I really wish they would have included like some of the old music videos on here, maybe some concert footage. If we could have gotten like a complete concert, that would have been a great bonus feature. But I was a little surprised to not even see the video for Take On Me included as a bonus feature, given what an iconic part of 1980s culture that was. That said, though, overall, it's a modestly priced package. You don't get a whole lot of extra stuff in addition to the movie, but you're also not going to pay a whole lot for it either, so... That's a good thing, and I think anyone that wants to explore the band more in depth should pick this up for sure. Are you an AHA fan? What's your favorite song they've put out? Are there songs other than Take On Me and The Living Daylights that are personal favorites of yours? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel for more context. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.